So we have the echo. Is it in a frame? Yep. We got the dot. Moment of silence. They really have me work for this. The fuck is that a hockey puck, man? It kind of do. <laughs> it kind of do look like it. Alexa, play the program, Radio Lab. Getting the latest episode of Radio Lab. Here it is from Tuesday. Radio, Radio Lab. I don't know, but that's what's on me. Alexa, Sarah stop. Alexa, stop. Radio Lab is Alexa. By you gotta control your bitch. That was me one year ago unboxing the Amazon Echo. That was back in the days when I didn't even have a tripod or a camera. I don't think I, I was using my iPhone 6 Plus to record that unboxing video. It's just amazing on how much things that can change within just a year, man. It's amazing. I'm here to give my review one year later of the amazon echo dot and i gotta say this is easily one of my favorite tech products of all time so far and well money spent man now given a little background story behind the amazon echo at first i didn't really care too much about it like i didn't care because i know like voice assistance things is normally not really all that good you know kind of gimmicky that's why i didn't really care too much about it but shout out to flossy carter i watched his video so yeah, after watching his video, I really do like the fact how you could just ask it anything and it'll tell you the answer, like the weather, how to spell this word, what do this word mean. Um, after watching Flo's video, it just really made me want to get one of these. But then I looked on the Amazon uh, app and it was like, you can't add it to your cart because you don't have the Toilet Echo. And the only way you could have ordered one of these back in the days was if you have the Toilet Amazon Echo and yeah that's the only way you could order it so i went on amazon or i went on ebay and people were selling it for like 200 dollars a wild price and keep in mind the original price is 90 dollars. so um so i placed this bid i ended up paying 140 for it and i know that's kind of crazy to say because now you could pick up an amazon echo dot for like 50 dollars, and that's a steal we're going to talk about that in a little bit and it's so dope just to have the ability to just do anything hands-free or ask anything hands-free so i could just say alexa how do you spell car car is spelled c a r now keep in mind the smaller amazon echo the speaker is kind of trash and that's why i have my jbl charge 2 plus and that was one of the main reasons why i picked up the smaller one because let's be honest does the jbl charge 2 plus sound better then the Amazon Echo, the taller Amazon Echo. Yeah, so that's why I said to myself, this is probably sound a lot better. Alexa, pair. Searching. God damn it. Who's calling me? <laughs> People are always calling me and then hanging up. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> it's a little annoying now. So now it's connected to my JBL Charge 2 Plus. So the sound is a lot um basier a lot more cleaner so i could just say now alexa how do you spell car car is spelled c a r and yeah so it sounds a lot better and that's one of the main reasons why i want the smaller one now for 140 bucks that's kind of insane for the smaller one but it was definitely well worth it a year later i'm still saying that this is the best tech product still it's worth the money now once you get your Amazon Echo Dot, you just can't, like, it's not the complete package. That's like you buying a TV, but you're not connecting anything to it, like a cable box or PS4. You know what I mean? It's not the complete package if you don't have it, anything connected to it. So the lights that you guys are seeing right now is connected to my Amazon Echo. So I could say, Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. And there we have it. Alexa, turn on the back lights. Okay. There you have it. Alexa, turn off the TV. Okay. So I have all my smart products. I have three smart products. All right, so let's cut back on the lights. Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa, turn off the back lights. Okay. And you see, like, I'm not saying off correctly. So, you know, it's just like, it just understands you. Like, it gets to know your voice. And it gets used to you. And that's what really makes this thing so dope. But I'm thinking about getting the smart remote. So now with the remote, you can actually um, change the channels. You can uh, raise up the volume if you like. So I definitely got to get that Harmony remote. I think one of the most popular features is music. It's just the ability how you can just walk into a room and just say, Alexa, play Travis Scott. 
Playing songs by Travis Scott from Spotify. Alexa, stop. It is just so dope. And I do have the Alexa app. Oh, good thing she didn't recognize it. Um, I do have the Echo app right here. So, you know, anything that you ask, you could just pull it back right here. So if you, like, look, the car, it shows it right there. Bluetooth. And you have it now playing. So, yeah, so it's pretty dope. I like this a lot. And I do have Spotify. I think Prime Music is a little bit on the trashy side. That's just my opinion. Um, and sometimes uh, the music be clean. I don't know. I, 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 I like Spotify better. That's just me. It's just the control. The ability to control anything with your voice is definitely futuristic. And in my opinion, this is one of the coolest tech that you can buy. Especially for $50 now. You, it's a steal, man. And to this day, yes, I spent $140 just for this. But I would still say it is well worth it. It was definitely worth it. Because at the time, this thing just came out. It was hard to find. You couldn't even get it. You couldn't even get it through the um, Amazon Echo. Because it was, it was sold out. And yeah, you had to get the taller Amazon Echo. But um, yeah, so it's just not all about music. It's not all about controlling your smart products. It's about like the weather too. So I could say, Alexa, what's the weather outside? Currently, in Hempstead, it's 72 degrees with intermittent clouds. Tonight, you can look for clear skies with a low of 47 degrees. Anything. Alexa, what's my flash briefing? Here's your flash briefing. In the daily update from Engadget. For you wonder if you could bring a laptop on your next flight, you might have missed Alexa. 3D models of watching. Stop. So with the flash briefing, you can have your, your tech news, your Engadget, your TMZ. I think my TMZ is my favorite one. You have your CNN news. You have all kinds of um, news sources. But I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I barely use the flash briefing. I just pick up my iPad and see what's going on. But just the ability to find out the weather. Let's say you're going out the door, right? You don't know what jacket should you wear. Should I wear a heavy jacket or should I wear a light jacket? You can quickly ask what the weather is like. And that's it. You don't even have to pick up your phone. Your phone is already in your pocket. And it's just the convenience of just having the ability to just ask. You know what I mean? Um, you can order things. So I could just say, Alexa, order some lightning cables. I found multiple matching items. The first is lightning cable, snug, Apple iPhone charger, nylon braided USB cord for iPad in Sean's order history. I ordered some lightning cables through Amazon, so it's going to pick up what you ordered last time. So I did order some snug cables. I actually did a review on that too, way back. The cable's still going strong, didn't break down on me yet. Now, the alarms is one of my favorite parts about the Amazon Echo. Alexa, set an alarm for 6.26 p.m. Alarm set for 6.26 p.m. So right now, the, the, the time right now is 6.25. I love the alarms. The ability when you're wrapped up in your covers, you don't have to pick up no devices. You can just simply say it, and it's going to set the alarm for you. You don't have nothing to worry about, and that's it. And I got to say... And you guys can see it's loud. And look, you see everything is flashing? That is so fire. So it's gonna flash white when the alarms are set in. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, turn off the backlights. Okay. And it's also flashing this one here. Alexa, turn off the light. Okay. That is so fire. Now, yes, it could be a pain in the behind, but it definitely will wake me up because my shades are closed. Everything is closed, so everything is dark. Just the ability to have this bright light shot in your face, it wakes me up, and it definitely gets the job done. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. You can, um, you know, order an Uber. You can order Domino's. Welcome to Domino's. Would you like to place your easy order, place your recent order, or track your order? Place my recent order. Your order has been placed. It will be delivered in approximately 28 to 38 minutes. Your order is in the oven. Sweet. Your order is out for delivery. Your order has been delivered. Enjoy your delicious order from Domino's. It's here. How you doing, sir? And yeah, I got a cheese pizza pie here. 
So it's definitely a handy thing, especially like when you're playing some video games, um, you know, like some zombies, so you can order pizza, and that's it. So I, I, I like it so much, man. So you have food, you have Uber. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but the list goes on and on and on. Amazon, they did their thing with this one. If I have to rate this out of five stars, easily five out of five. Um, the Amazon Echo is going to get to learn your voice. You can actually train it. Um, so if I tap on voice training, literally right here, it's basically going to get used to your voice. You just say different phrases. I'm not going to go through this whole setup. The only complaint I could probably say, like maybe in the morning times, my voice change. You know, everybody have that morning voice type. Um, sometimes the Amazon Echo don't recognize me sometimes. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you got to train my voice a little bit more. But I don't know. That's the only complaint I can think of. But other than that, man, Amazon Echo is a go. Highly recommend it. And yeah. I'm so happy I got the first gen because I really do love the, the fact how you could just turn this. I don't know. It's just so much cooler. Man, I really cannot find any complaints with my Amazon Echo. Maybe you might have some occasional, you know, resets here and there. But maybe that just depends on the certain skill. You do have your 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you don't have um, a Bluetooth speaker, you could just connect this into the headphone jack. Yeah, you can also mute it. So if you don't want to be heard, you know, you could just mute it like that. You do have your action button. So that's like, instead of you saying the echo. Yeah, so instead of you saying Alexa, then it's just going to use that. Yeah, no complaints, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. And I cannot believe it's been a year already. This thing is still going strong. Everything is going to be updated through the cloud. So the Amazon server clouds is automatically going to, um, you know, update new tricks, new skills. So you don't have to do nothing. You just power it on and that's it. And you're all set.